Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing what they secretly want to tell you spread for all of my tourists out there. So, let's get after it. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. What do they secretly want to tell my tourists out there? What do they secretly want to tell my tourists out there? Some cards that I need to okay 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 so what do they secretly want to tell you they want to secretly tell you they are ready for a renewal they're ready to out with the old and with the new so they want to start something fresh something new if you will this individual wants to start something fresh something new um they want to do away with the baggage here all right, with the death card here. Um, also, we have the nine of cups here, representing a situation in which um, you fulfill their wishes. Their wishes are fulfilled by being with you. Okay, um, you know they're bring They don't want to bring any excess baggage to the situation. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Their wishes are fulfilled when they're with you. Now, for good, bad, or indifferent, calm down. This is an X. All right. I know a lot of you are like, damn it, it does. So this is an ex that wants to start something, wants to start over, something fresh, something new, okay, with this situation here. Um, in addition here, we have the star card representing a rebirth, a renewal here, a rebirth, a renewal, a fresh start. They want to start over. So they want everything that happened in the past, they want to just keep it in the past. Okay, they want to look forward, something new, something fresh. So they don't want to hold any, any. Uh, um, they don't want to look backwards with you. They don't want you to look backwards with them. They want to start something fresh, something new, and something. Um, something also, we have the page of wands here, representing a situation in which they want to kind of do things a little differently this time. So, um, you know, page of wands is all about you know a, a new exploratory energy. Um, a new way of looking at things, kind of thinking out of the box, if you will. So they want to be a lot more adventurous this time, a lot more exploratory, if you will. Um, and there, there, I do sense that there has been a sense of transformation when it is coming with this individual. They're, they're just, I do feel like there's, there's really a, a transformative energy that has happened with this individual here. And this individual um, has... Um, it, it ha has changed their perspective on quite a few things here. In addition here, we have the Queen of Wands energy, representing a situation when this person is sending warm, vibrating energy out there and is open to receive warm, vibrating energy as well coming back at them. Now, with that being said here, they have tried to, you know, this, is, this, is, this isn't the first time that they've approached you and try to reignite old passions. And in the past, they tried to hand you a cup of love and it was rejected, okay? So I think with this individual, this is, you know, this is maybe the, 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 the third time is the charm here with the situation. It's this individual's holding out all hope that things will uh, begin to turn over again. They, you know, so, and there is here with the Ace of Wands, there is a great deal of sexual energy and tension um, that's, and I kind of feel like that's, it's somewhat latent with you as well. It's not, I mean, it's nowhere near as strong as their sexual attraction is for you, but there's a bit of a strong sexual attraction, uh, that, you know, um, that, that's still for them. You know, e even if it's like maybe something like maybe, maybe 25%, there's still some sexual attraction that's there and, you know, they're hoping maybe this time around that, you know, the pendulum will swing in our favor, or at least you'll give them a hair, you'll hear them out. So that's what's going on with that. So with that being said here, let's see what are the potential blockages to this situation. Of I'm sure there are many. Okay, so let's just check this out. Here. Let's check this out. Here. What are the potential blockages keeping you guys from being together? What are the potential blockages keeping you guys from being together? One more shuffle. What are potential blockages? Keep me back from being together. Okay, that's good. All right. 
So, star card, hope, renewal, hope, renewal, rebirth. Um, as I said, that seems to be what's in their heart, but there seems to be uh, this blockage of starting over. The past just can't cannot be let go of here. I'm really that, that's a really uh, I'm really really picking up on the vibes of that very strongly here. Um, in addition, here we have the Page of Wands energy, which was again I talked we talked about um, you know kind of looking at things in a new way, new way, an exploratory way, new energy. Um, there seems to be there's a, there's a blockage here with that. It's like you know the, the 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 mindset here is well you may be willing to look at things a new way a new exploratory way but i'm not okay so there's a um, there's a resistance to uh look at this individual any differently okay um in addition here we have the two of wands representing um there's definitely a fork in the road here and there are choices here so there's a choice to either move this way or that way, okay? They want to, they, they want to, you know, they want to go this way and, and, and kind of start something new in a different direction. You know, you're more or less over this side, like, you know what, been there, done that, don't want to do that again. And that, I'm really picking up on that very strongly. In addition, we have here the Nine of Pentacles. So <clears throat> you have, you know, usually, again, these are blockages. So... Normally, Nine of Pentacles, you have everything you need to be successful. In this particular case, um, since this is a blockage, um, this could be read one of two ways. You don't have everything you need to be successful in this particular situation. There are some fundamental things that are missing. Um, and there is a lack of, of, of wanting to forgive as well um, on your part. Okay? Um, and so, um, you know... Um, there's not every all all the ingredients here to be successful or not here. Also, in this nine of pentacles, I'm also feeling here with this situation is that um, you have everything you need to be successful in your own right. Okay, so you don't need you know you don't need their energy. You don't want their energy. You don't want them in your life. And that's also what that's telling me as well. Okay, so you know your solidarity happy. But this nine of pentacles energy, you're solid, you're happy with yourself. You're like, nope, been there, done that, don't want to go back again. I'm I'm happy, thanks, but no thanks. Also, straight talk. Queen of Swords energy here. Um, you know, Queen of Swords is very logical, but it's also my no BS card too. So you're cut you're telling it straight like it is. And it is. sometimes it can be very harsh, but it's being very logical. So there are definitely some issues here that um that's just a very raw, palpable energy here. Um that has not yet been, this has not been, that you're not yet willing to let go, okay? In addition here, we have the Queen of Wands energy, representing putting out warm, vibrating energy. That's not happening here. They're putting it out there, uh, but you're not being reciprocal of it, which is totally understandable. And finally here, we have the Seven of Pentacles, waiting, waiting for things to ripen on that vine. Also, what that means is you have, you have some things, other things out there already. Okay, uh, other individuals, other situations, and you're waiting for those things to ripen on that line, so you no longer have an interest interest in this situation. Okay, so that's what that means. Those are the blockages. So with that being said, here let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. Okay, what additional information Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? One more shuffle. What additional information Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? So, dependability, dependability, uh, that is a very huge issue here with you. Um, the lack of, of, the lack of dependability that, that has really, really, um, flavored the whole relationship with this individual. There's been a lack of dependability and you need and you want someone that's going to be dependable, someone you can count on, somebody that's going to be there for you in the good times and the bad times. Um, also efficiency, okay? Efficiency with your time, with your energy. You want to 
Uh, you want to be in a situation where it takes the least amount of effort um, <clears throat> into a, in, in achieving a goal and a, an objective. Um, you're tired of things, you know, having to put tons and tons of energy and time into a situation and only getting a little bit of bit in return. Okay, you want to get more bang for your buck. In other words, in terms of a relationship, in terms of uh, in terms of moving forward. Um, as far as the plans and, and, and things of that nature, um, you just, you just, you're just tired of putting a, a lot of energy and effort into a situation and getting very little in return, okay? And also, f finally, you know, heat. Even though I said that there, you know, there is a, a little bit of sexual attraction here, that's still left on your part, a lot on their part. Um, you're looking for a situation where there's not only you, where a person won't only stimulate your 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 body, but you also want your mind stimulated as well. Someone that has a little bit more drive and ambition. I'm feeling here. Um, yeah, very much so. Okay, so yeah, so with that being said, I'm gonna shut this thing down now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Okay. So if it does resonate with you, if it doesn't resonate with you, take those things that resonate with you, keep them, those, those, those things that don't, dismiss them, okay? But if this does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading, okay? If you guys haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will absolutely positively see you next time. Bye-bye.